The tarmac at Aero India 2025 is a buzz with excitement and energy. The air crackles with anticipation as aviation enthusiasts and industry experts gather to witness the latest in aerospace technology. Russia has arrived in full force, and they've brought their A-game to the event. This year, all eyes are on two of Russia's most advanced fighter jets, the formidable Su-57E and the much-anticipated Su-75 Checkmate. These aircraft represent the pinnacle of Russian aerospace engineering. Their presence is more than just a display of technological prowess, it's a clear signal of Russia's intent to solidify its position in the global arms market and forge a deeper strategic partnership with India. This collaboration is set to redefine the defense landscape in the region. The Su-57E, Russia's first fifth-generation fighter, needs little introduction. It has already made a name for itself in various military circles. With its stealth capabilities, super maneuverability, and advanced avionics, the Felon, as it's known in NATO circles, is a force to be reckoned with. Its performance in the skies is nothing short of spectacular, but it's the newcomer, the Su-75 Checkmate, that's generating the most buzz. This aircraft is poised to make a significant impact on the global stage. Designed as a more affordable and versatile alternative to the Su-57, the Checkmate is aimed squarely at the lucrative market for light to medium combat aircraft. Its adaptability and cost-effectiveness make it an attractive option for many countries. Russia's presence at Aero India 2025 is a testament to the enduring strategic partnership between Russia and India. This relationship has been built over decades of mutual trust and cooperation. For decades, India has been a major importer of Russian military hardware, and the two countries have collaborated on numerous defense projects. This collaboration has resulted in significant advancements in defense technology for both nations. But with the unveiling of the Su-57E and Su-75 Checkmate, Russia is signaling its intent to take this partnership to the next level. These aircraft symbolize a new era of cooperation and shared technological advancements. This year, Aero India is more than just an airshow, it's a stage for geopolitical maneuvering. The presence of these advanced fighter jets underscores the strategic importance of the event, and Russia has made it clear that they're playing for keeps. Their commitment to showcasing their latest technology and strengthening international partnerships is evident in every aspect of their participation at Aero India 2025. The Su-57E, nicknamed Felon by NATO, is Russia's answer to the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. This fifth-generation fighter jet is designed to excel in air superiority and strike missions, making it a formidable opponent in modern aerial combat. Years in development, the Su-57 represents the cutting edge of Russian aerospace engineering. It has undergone numerous tests and refinements to ensure it meets the rigorous demands of modern warfare. It boasts a suite of advanced features, including stealth technology, supersonic cruise capability, and an impressive arsenal of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. These capabilities make the Su-57E a versatile and lethal platform in any combat scenario. The Su-75 Checkmate, on the other hand, is a relative newcomer. This single-engine fighter jet is designed to be a game-changer in the global defense market. First unveiled at the MAX Air Show in 2021, the Checkmate is designed to be a more affordable and export-oriented alternative to the Su-57. Its introduction has generated significant interest from various countries looking to enhance their air capabilities. Don't let its smaller size fool you, the Checkmate is no slouch when it comes to capability. It is engineered to deliver high performance and reliability in a compact package. It incorporates many of the same advanced technologies as its larger sibling, including stealth features, a powerful engine, and a sophisticated avionics suite. These elements ensure that the Checkmate can hold its own in any combat situation. The Checkmate is designed to be a highly versatile aircraft, capable of performing a wide range of missions. Its adaptability makes it suitable for various roles on the battlefield. From air superiority to ground attack, reconnaissance to electronic warfare, the Checkmate is intended to be a true multi-role fighter. Its flexibility allows it to meet the diverse needs of modern air forces. Its relatively low cost and ease of maintenance make it an attractive option for countries looking to modernize their air forces without breaking the bank. The Checkmate offers a cost-effective solution without compromising on performance. By showcasing both the Su-57E and the Su-75 Checkmate at Aero India 2025, Russia is demonstrating its commitment to providing cutting-edge technology to its partners.
This display highlights Russia's prowess in developing advanced military aircraft. The Felon represents the pinnacle of Russian military aviation, while the Checkmate offers a more accessible and adaptable option for a wider range of customers. Together, these aircraft showcase the breadth and depth of Russia's capabilities in the field of advanced fighter jets. Russia's ambitions at Aero India 2025 extend far beyond mere sales. They're looking to forge deeper, more strategic partnerships that could redefine the defense landscape in the region. They've come with a proposition to build the Su-75 Checkmate in India under the Make in India initiative. This isn't just a business deal, it's a strategic move aimed at long-term collaboration. This strategy, a cornerstone of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's economic vision aims to transform India into a global manufacturing hub and boost domestic defense production. By integrating advanced technologies and manufacturing processes, India hopes to elevate its industrial capabilities. For Russia, this partnership is a win-win. It not only strengthens their ties with a key ally, but also provides a foothold in the burgeoning Indian defense market. Building the Checkmate in India would grant access to a skilled workforce, reduce production costs, and potentially open doors to other markets in the region. The collaboration could also lead to technological exchanges that benefit both nations. For India, the deal promises to bolster its defense industry, reduce reliance on foreign imports, and potentially even position India as an exporter of advanced military hardware. This could be a game-changer for India's defense sector. The Make in India proposal for the Su-75 Checkmate is not just about economics, it's about deepening the strategic ties between Russia and India. This partnership could serve as a model for future collaborations in other sectors. Co-production of such an advanced fighter jet would represent a significant leap in their defense cooperation. It would also enhance India's capabilities in aerospace engineering and manufacturing. It would send a strong message to the world about their shared commitment to a multipolar world order. This collaboration could influence geopolitical dynamics in the region. However, the offer is not without its complexities. There are numerous logistical, financial, and political factors to consider. India will need to weigh the benefits of acquiring advanced technology against the potential risks of becoming overly reliant on Russia. The decision-making process will involve multiple stakeholders and careful deliberation. The decision will have far-reaching implications for India's defense posture and its place on the global stage. It could redefine India's role in international defense alliances and partnerships. The arrival of the Su-75 Checkmate at Aero India 2025 comes at a fascinating juncture for the Indian Air Force. India is in the midst of developing its own fifth-generation fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft (AMCA). This ambitious project aims to deliver a world-class indigenous fighter jet tailored to India's specific needs. The Su-75 Checkmate, with its attractive price tag and the lure of local production, presents a compelling alternative. It could potentially fulfill India's immediate need for a modern fighter jet while the AMCA program continues to mature. However, opting for the Checkmate could have implications for the AMCA's long-term viability and India's aspirations of achieving self-reliance in defense production. The debate over the Checkmate versus the AMCA is likely to dominate discussions at Aero India 2025. Proponents of the Checkmate argue that it offers a proven, cost-effective solution that can be operationalized much faster than the AMCA. Supporters of the AMCA counter that developing indigenous capabilities is crucial for India's long-term strategic autonomy. Ultimately, the decision will hinge on a complex calculus of factors. These include operational requirements, budgetary constraints, technological considerations, and India's strategic priorities. What's certain is that the competition between the Checkmate and the AMCA will have a profound impact on the future of Indian military aviation.